Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video for the Great Tense. This time we're going to be starting to speak about kinematic. Now, the kinematic is the part of physics that study motion. This one is kinematic. Kinematics. And kinematic is the part of physics that study motion. So this one is straight related to motion. Not the cause that produces the motion, but the motion and the change in motion. So this is what we are going to be studying mostly in this uh, part of the mechanics, part of the, of the topic. And then in this case, we're going to be talking about reference frame and a position. So saying that now, reference frame is a reference point combined with a set of direction. When we said set of direction, we are referring to the axis. That is the set of direction we are talking about. In this case, remember, we have the x-axis and the y-axis. I'm erasing all the time. Axis, okay? So those are the two axes we have. For instance, if we say this one is the reference point, this one is the point of reference. Let's write it here. Let me erase that one and use another color. So this one here, guys, is going to be reference reference point now, the reference point for making the work easier is going to generally be the origin origin of the two axes we spoke about so we are going to compare any position or any object re, re, um, compared to that position of that reference point the reference point could be a tree could be a, a, a box could be any object generally and is recommended to have an object that is not moving so that is the origin and then uh, this one here represents just an object that we're going to speak about but a frame of reference is the combination of the set of axes, set of direction, which in this case here, we have, for instance, these axes there, for example, this one here, and now important, the direction. The axis is given. Remember, we just finished with vector. Direction is important. This one is important and is taken by the person that is studying the motion. So we can say the positive direction is to the right, but remember, it could also said that the positive direction is left. Okay, so this is the frame of reference by definition and by explanation. Remember, you need a reference point and the reference point is any object. So let's maybe mark here and say reference point is any object. Is any object, generally object at rest. Object that is not moving. That is what we are talking about. Please take all your notes. It is quite important. Now, saying that, we are going to be focusing on a one-dimensional motion. Now, remember, we said kinematic is the one that study or is the part of physics that study motion. And we are going to be focusing on one-direction motion. One-dimensional motion is in one direction, it's in a straight line, and that is a very important part here. One-dimensional motion is a motion in a straight line, in any direction, but it's going to be the straight line. So this object is not going to change, um, it's not going to be out of that specific line, only one-dimensional motion. Now, what is position? Position is a measurement of a location with reference to the origin. The origin is going to be the point of reference. This one is the point of reference. Point of reference. So, for instance, if we have a tree and we want to take that tree as the reference point, now we need a frame of reference. This is a beautiful tree. Now, we have already the point of reference. Point of reference. We need the axis, set of axes, to have a complete uh, frame of reference. Now, this set of axes, it could be in any direction as positive. We can say, for instance, positive this direction. Okay? So, now, this is going to be the origin. This one is the frame of reference. And let's, for instance, say that somebody is at this specific place. This one here is the position. And position is a vector quantity. So it's a vector that is going from the uh, reference point, from the point of reference, which in this case is the origin, 
to whatever that person or object is allocated. This vector here is what we call position. It's a vector. And it's very important. So this is the position of that person. It's a vector that is going from the origin to the place where that person person is uh, allocated or the location of where that person or that object is. For instance, in this case, it's a positive uh, position. And in this case, if you have another person, for instance, let's have a girl on this uh, place here. There we go. Now the position of that girl will be on the negative side. It's a vector that is going from the origin to whatever that person, the location where that person is. This one is position. Now, what is important to know? The symbol for position is going to be X. So, it's going to be X with an arrow on top because it is a vector quantity. This one is the symbol for position. Okay? Please don't forget it is quite important. Symbol for position. Here it is. And then, uh, the other important thing about that one is that the unit is the meters. The international unit for position, the SI unit, SI unit is going to be the meters. Now, for instance, if we come here, we can say that the position of this boy is going to be, let's say, positive 5 meters. That is the position of the vector, or 5 meters, um, that's not a meter, 5 meters to the right of the tree, because the tree is the reference point. I hope you understand what I'm speaking about here. But when we refer to the position of the girl, we can say that the position of this girl is equal to minus, uh, for instance, 3 meters. That is the position of the girl. Or we can say that is 3 meters to the left. Left of what? Left of the tree. So this is quite simple. Important, the symbol, okay, the symbol of position. There we go. So guys, this is in terms of position. It's quite simple. Very, very, very important. It is a vector quantity. I think this is a very important statement. You have to take note, please. Position is a vector quantity. The symbol is X with a arrow on top. Okay, so now, for instance, we go here with one simple example. We have that the house of a person, Cosma in this case, is going to be taken as the origin. That is the reference point, of point of reference. Now, if that person walk to the shop, and the shop is 300 on the right side of, of that person's house, when that person is there, that is the position of Cosma when he's at the shop. We can say three, uh, positive 300 meters, or we can say position, one, for example, which is at the top, is equal to 300 meters to the right. Now, remember we learned about direction. It doesn't need to be to the right. It could be 300 meters uh, east, for example, east of the house. This one is the house of Cosma. You can see it there. Um, let me move up because there's some important um, note. But if you go to the school, when Cosma go to the school, the position, we have another position, which we can call position two. Now, position two, guys, is going to be equal to taking the house as a reference point. Remember, the reference point can change, it doesn't matter. Now, if the house still, the reference point is going to be negative 300, you can say negative 300 meters, or you can say that position two is equal to 300 meters to the left. And that's it. It's quite simple. In terms of position, this is quite simple. I hope you understand it's not problematic at all. We're almost done with this video. Now, in this question, it's just to practice. Say, write down and represent using vectors the position for objects A, B, D, and E. We are not going to do all those. We are going to do, for instance, A, using vectors. So, the position of A, we can say from the origin is a vector that is going from the origin to the place that person is allocated. So this one is position A. And if we want to write the answer, it's equal to minus 3 uh, meters. So that is the answer for position A. I, as I say, I'm not going to represent all of them, but for example, 
we can represent the position of E um, or D using uh, the vector. It's from the original to D, from the origin to D. That is position uh, D. And in this case, it's equal to positive 1 meters. Now, important, you need to show the positive because that positive means direction. And guys, this is how we represent vectors using uh, opposition using vectors. Now, important, two important concepts here, distance. Now, what is distance? Distance is the total path length travel from the initial position to the final position. And distance is a scalar quantity. The symbol is a capital D as you can see it there. Now, for you to get an idea, when you go in the morning to school, yeah? when you start them from school, if we say from home, sorry, if we say home is the reference point, reference point, reference point, there's a lot of noise here around me now, but I think it's not a big problem. Now, the reference point is going to be the house. So it means this one is going to be the origin as well. So if we start here, this one is position zero and is the initial position of that person. Now, when you walk to school in the morning, at least you stay in right at the front of the school. Generally, you don't go in a straight line. You go through all the paths. You turn in one side. You go to the other side. You go to different places. Okay, you turn around, so on. If you add those meters from starting to end, which is the school is the final position, that is what we call distance. And distance is a scalar quantity. Now, there is going to be a new definition of displacement. If we have a straight vector from initial position to final position, straight vector, this is what we call displacement. So displacement. is a vector quantity and is the difference in position. So displacement, which the symbol is delta x or triangle x is equal to final position minus initial position. This is the formula to calculate displacement. It is a vector quantity. It is a very important definition. It's a straight vector that is going from the initial position to the final position, guys. I think this is uh, quite simple and it is quite clear. There is one example here we can look at. They say Komal walks to meet Kevin at his house. Now, um, Komal is right here. Let me show you. This is Komal there. Oh, sorry. Let me get the pen there. It is Komal there. Walks to meet Kevin and Kevin is right there at his house before walking to school. What is Cosmas displacement and what distance did he cover when he walked to school via Kevin? So, what does it mean? Let's first identify something here. We're taking Komal House as the origin. So this one is the origin or the point of reference. Or point of reference. Now, Komal is starting from there. So the initial position is when he's at his house or her house that is Komal a position. That one is, guys, the initial position of Komal. So, in other words, it's position zero. Now, Komal go to Kevin, but then he go to school. So, he doesn't stay at Kevin. He go to fetch Kevin. Kevin is waiting for Komal outside, and they go walk straight to school. So, what does Komal do? Komal walk all the way to Kevin, turn around, and go all the way to the school. So, the final position is going to be at school. This one is the final position of Komal. So what is the total distance? Let's use, uh, let me use another color. Let me perhaps do it with a black color. Okay, what is the distance? Remember the distance is the path taken. So it's 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 and then go back all the way 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus another 100. So if you add that, you get that the distance is going to be to 900 a meters. Let's, let's see. So it's 100, 200, 300, 400. Then it's going to 5, 6, 7, 8, 900 meters. But if you go to that displacement, displacement, which is delta x, is going to be from the initial position to the final position. So here we get that it's going to be 
only that one and this one is the displacement so it's only going to be 100 meters to the left this is the difference between distance and displacement i hope you understand it's quite simple and it's very very important for upcoming grades thank you for watching guys thumb up write messages i'll see you next time mr g here